Manchester fighter Jamie Moore, only 22. Big Mike Tyson fan, wears those plain black trunks a la Tyson and the black boots without any socks as well. He's facing Scott Dixon, the former Commonwealth welterweight champion who's had a bit of a mixed time of it since moving up to light middleweight, but did win last time out in Spain. So he might fancy his chances here, but Moore doesn't get much publicity, but he might be a real improver who could shake up the top guys in the division in Britain, given time, Glenn. Yes, he's coming along well in his career. He's very strong and aggressive southpaw. And he'll be looking to stall well here against Dixon, just to take the fight away from him a little bit, because Dixon will have a bit of confidence coming off a decent win. Dixon, who outgrew the welterweight division, where he had a good spell of success. This is the biggest test yet for Moore, who's never been beyond six rounds, but a nice, solid start from him, with body and head punches getting through there. Black trunks, remember, of Jamie Moore, who's trained by the former Manchester light middleweight Steve Foster. I think the question with Dixon, Glenn, is how effective is he really in this division? Yes, I think so, but Dixon's still quite young. He's only 24 himself, more experienced than Moore. And it really is just a matter of getting his confidence and you know, just growing into this division. He was facing the prospect of being washed up at 24 almost when he was blown away by Steve Roberts and Anthony Farnell. They asked him too much too soon, in my opinion, up at 11 stone. How will he get on with Moore? Moore started very confidently and there's a nice controlled look about his work early on here. Yes, he's doing the right thing. He's testing the body of Dixon. I think that's the best thing to do. Try and get there and hurt him. A really good left hand to the head got through, and another one following it up to the body. Nice high-held guard as well from Moore. Others have been getting much more publicity in this 11-stone division in Britain, which is buzzing with talent just at the moment. Moore just bubbling under the top ten. Could break into it tonight, though. Well, it might have done him some good. Just the pressure not being on him. He's pretty young at 22, so he's had time just to, to learn the game. He's got him with some good shots in this first round. He's dominated it. And there's some blood from the nose now of Scott Dixon. He's had an uncomfortable opening three minutes here. Good work from the southpaw from Salford, Jamie Moore. He definitely is improving all the time. Yes, he is. He's just come along nicely. It's, it's a slow development, but you know he's strong and he started well there. Good body punches going in and then rocking the head back of Dixon. Moore he used to drive a van making beer deliveries, but gave all that up because he said. My job is boxing. I want to concentrate on it full time. There's that the head punches, the long left hand from Moore. And then looking to, to switch and get down to the body. That's a really good shot. Picked it well, didn't he? Yes, he did. But showing good variety there. Dixon has already got some facial damage, as you can see. And Moore with a good right to the body that time, and then digs in a couple more lefts as well. He's not wasting very many. Well, Dixon's been forced to stand and trade with him. I'm not sure that is the best tactic for Dixon. Maybe a bit of movement around the ring and use the, the long punches would suit him more. Good body shot there, though, from Scott Dixon who does know all about going the full 12 rounds. He was in that absolute thriller with Derek Roach. Five knockdowns in it, he just lost it. Great fight. He might be looking here to just take more into uncharted territory late on, test his stamina. A bit more battle-hardened, Scott Dixon, but uncomfortable early moments, no doubt about that here. 
Little Moore's quite heavy-handed, you know. Yes, I think he is. I think he's pretty strong and heavy-handed. And Dixon, it's surprising that he's electing to stand in close with Moore. say the 22 year old so far has a nice cool composed air about him settled straight away into a rhythm yet another fighter then off the very productive production line in Manchester working the angles more head body and that's his round two it's an uncomfortable all night this for scott dixon who comes from hamilton up in scotland but he's usually based down at the peacock gym where he's been a pt instructor some people around the camp say that uh, the london life didn't exactly suit him and maybe a bit happened uh, too fast too soon for him well, I think that could be the, the thing. I think too much happened too soon. He was in too many fights at a, at a high level before he was probably ready. And that maybe took a bit out of him. But he's electing to stand with Moore. Maybe he feels he can try and push Moore on the back foot and Moore will not be as effective. But so far, Moore getting his shots in well. Round three of what is due to be a 12 round. I remember the... Uh, Salford youngster Jamie Moore's in the solid black trunks here. Scott Dixon, the former welterweight champion of the Commonwealth. Beat the New Zealander Sean Sullivan to pick up that particular title. But, do you know, he's just looking at the prospect of maybe being a journeyman prematurely in his career, unless he can chalk up a few significant wins. He's fought in Europe a bit lately. He had that win in Spain. Stopped the guy in five rounds, that was good enough, but he lost to a novice before that. There's a low blow in there from Moore, left. And that adds to Dixon's discomfort. He's got five minutes if he wants it. Keep the punches up, says Dave Paris, the referee from Tottenham in North London. Nobody's making that big a fuss of it. got a good attitude to it all Scott Dixon but he has been in some hard ones well he's got to just up his work rate a bit Dixon he's allowing more to dictate the fight more is busier and then getting off with the, the better punches he's quite good isn't he too with that little right hook into the rib cage particularly noticeable that question really for more of whether he can hold this all together if it goes long well, I think that's Dixon's best chance Dixon, Dixon's got to make this fight go long and, and hopefully your more might just start coming apart <laughs> mustn't let his work become ragged more just got caught by one there came back with an answer three four punch combination yes they were good shots just chip the jab in the, an uppercut and then come out the left hand and this is good work from Moore he looks a pretty high quality operator on this evidence actually fought Anthony Farnell a couple of times when they were amateurs and that little duel ended one apiece oh there's a good punch there though he's got him there and Scott Dixon is in real trouble now. The count's at six, seven. He gets up with it at the mandatory eight, walks back towards his corner. But the wind was really knocked out of Scott Dixon there. And Moore might just be able to finish this. And if he did, wouldn't that be impressive? Dixon trying to cover up. And bravely fires in a left hook of his own. But Moore giving evidence again that he has plenty of power. He can dig all right. And these body punches are beginning to break up Scott Dixon. Look at that. Four, five, six punch combination to the head as well. It's terrific variety. He really is going for the stoppage here, Moore. Really turning on the style. It's quite a revelation, this. 
from Jamie Moore. He's looked useful against the journeyman. Upton Class, he looks more than useful. And Scott Dixon wonders how he got through that round. Well, he's really taking the eye here, isn't he? Jamie he really Moore? is. This is very good work from Jamie Moore putting his shots together well, just found the gap there with the left hand, round the elbow, and Dixon went down heavily. It was a good shot, he had been throwing the right hand an awful lot, and then just brought the left into play. Somewhere near what Barry McGuigan calls the floating rib, isn't it? <laughs> Somewhere near there, <laughs> but it was good work, he went for the, the finish here more, he had good instincts to try and get Dixon out of there. Dixon took a lot of shots and did very well, but a good accuracy from Moore. 52 to 7, landed in the third round. Four, black trunks of the unbeaten Jamie Moore. 12 and 0 going into this one. And it's not looking at the moment as if it'll be an unlucky 13th. He stopped eight of those 12, by the way. Good right hand from Dixon. Dixon's pride. Right. keeping him afloat at the moment, you fancy. But he's a bit too easy to hit, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's just been standing around too much. He gets through with the occasional shot, Dixon, just to tell more he's still there. He's trying to lift himself here. Dixon, you can sense it. See if he can put more onto the back foot. and his record as a puncher at welterweight was nothing special though he always claimed that statistic lied and that he did have power but of course up at light middleweight his punches are going to have even less effect that's right especially somebody who's pretty strong and durable like Moore but Moore is doing well in close Dixon's trying to get some shots off Moore keeping his hands up nice and tight up through the weights quite quickly Scott Dixon he was a flyweight at 17 a bantam at 18 featherweight at 19 at 24 here he is up at 11 stone his body's filled out and Moore continuing just to pick the shots and just step, stepped half a step back up there did Dixon as he's punishing the body and then going to the head with these big heavy hooks Moore this is better from Dixon Got his man trapped against those ropes for a moment, and Moore comes out of that just looking a little more tired. And the good shots, I fancy, those from Scott Dixon. His best spell in the fight here. It's only brief. Can he keep it up? Well, it's good from Dixon. This might just test Moore a little bit mentally, see how tough he is when Dixon comes back at him. And there is the stamina thing. Remember, Moore's never been beyond six rounds. It's worth keeping that in the back of your head. credit here to Scott Dixon, he's taken quite a bit, he was on the floor in the last round, here he is coming forward in the fourth. Well, he's shown himself to be very gutsy, Dixon, we knew that already, but his career doesn't need too many more setbacks. Yeah, stopped by Steve Roberts and Anthony Farnell, and he was on the floor six times in those fights, but here he is with more pressure on Moore, who's going through a bad pass needs to fire back Dixon with these heavy shots and Moore comes out of that looking much the worse for wear and suddenly there is a turn in the tide Moore is now being asked a serious question at the higher level and he doesn't look good he doesn't that was a good end of the round from Dixon put the pressure on Moore and Moore looked a bit wanting there he just seemed to get tagged the strength went out of him and Dixon just look mentally more confident start putting the pressure on really driving these heavy hooks home more covering up with the effects of the punch still getting through well this is interesting because last time out scott dixon in spain against a, a prospect called ruben barone apparently lost all the rounds until the fifth when he produced the finish to win it how much has that knocked out of jamie moore 
He was absolutely dominating the fight until that last round. But Dixon's confidence will have grown immeasurably from developments in the last minute or so of that last round. Moore needs to get off those ropes, but he's moving now a lot less fluently. I think those legs have just gone a bit for the moment, you know. Yeah, it looks that way. Maybe it was Dixon's plan to stand with Moore, push him on the back foot, and at this point he's managing to do that. Can Moore be a, as effective when he is going backwards? Well, this is the big test. This is where you find out about fighters on the way through. This is why this is a good fight, a good test. Lumps and bumps around Dixon's face, but he isn't contemplating defeat at the moment. In fact, he is defiant. You can see Dixon really putting everything into his punches. More, not quite as accurate as he was in the early rounds. Oh, just looks a bit tired to me. Perhaps worryingly for his cornermen, Steve Foster and Steve Wood. And more did he hurt Dixon with a left hook to the body there? to stand and trade almost punch for punch and another good body shot from scott dixon i tell you what whatever other limitations scott dixon may have he has got some grit and bottle he really has well they're starting to tire now but this is making for a good fight it's a terrific scrap this and a significant one too it would be a career resurrecting performance from Scott Dixon if he was to turn this around having been on the wrong end of a lot of punishment for three rounds and visiting the canvas too the more looking the more tired of the two he's got his mouth open gasping for a bit of breath and suddenly Dixon looks like the man with the kind of man strength in there doesn't he oh four by three four head punches he's missing a few of them and down he goes Jamie Moore couldn't take that barrage he's on the canvas is he going to make it even eight nine he has not made it he's knocked down in the fifth round and Scott Dixon has scored an amazing win and has inflicted a first ever defeat on Jamie Moore that is a sensational victory for Scott Dixon and he screams out loud to the Manchester fans, he's done it away from home, but that was some performance. You could have had any price you wanted about Dixon winning that fight in the third round, but he just ran out of gas, Jamie Moore. Fight number 13 was unlucky. It was unlucky. Sheer grit and determination won it for Scott Dixon. He wouldn't be beaten, he kept throwing punches. He was just going to throw punches at the end for Moore hit the canvas and that's what he did he looked at the man towards the end he looked at the fitter of the two the stronger of the two and it paid dividends he had to come through some rocky patches but he come through them well well it was an unanswerable blitz at the end from scott dixon well you could see that moore was tired his mouth was open dixon obviously felt that moore was starting to weaken just stood there, kept the pressure on, kept the punches going. The hands starting to come down, and eventually he hits the canvas. He just punched all the resistance out of him, didn't he? Second time in a row, Scott Dixon wins by stoppage in round five, and he just might be growing into this light middleweight division after a torrid start at the new weight. He's not washed up at 24. Ask Jamie Moore, and all you can say to Jamie is, well, Welcome to the bigger league. This that's, is what it's about. That's exactly right. This is what it's it's like when you step over level. And Dixon proved that them tough fights haven't took it all out of him and maybe made him even better. Always an element of risk when you step a fighter up. You have to wonder whether he's ready. They thought he was ready, but the answer when it came was no. For more, anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 41 seconds of round five, the referee has counted out Jamie Moore, the winner and the new WBU International Light Middleweight Champion, Scott Dixon.
in there. I train hard in the gym. I only had a week's notice for that fight. That was just enough. Guts, grit and determination. How did you come back from that third round? Uh, well, he hit me some real hard shots. My head was really spinning, but uh, as I say, I just do it. I thank, thank God that get me gets me through these fights. I've done it in Madrid a few weeks ago and I've done it here tonight again. You were expecting, obviously, an explosive start for him, but you told us last night they made a mistake, that he was too young and inexperienced yeah, for you. Yeah, I mean, the kid's only 12 fights. A good fight, I mean, I suppose he could have... He would have maybe even went the distance with Farnell or Roberts, who knows, but the Scott Dixon that came here tonight was obviously the victor. You look so thrilled at the end. Put that into words. Yeah, I mean, I train real hard. Oh, my granddad saw being Martin and Jack at Peacock. And that, that's my life, just box, eat, sleep, so I deserve some belts now. Start knocking them out. Absolutely, after those losses to Anthony Farlell and Steve Roberts, we were wondering whether you'd make it in the light middleweight division. Yeah, You're back. That's right. I mean, I've had five losses against me. And out of all of those fighters, I mean, I've only had one loss between the, fi the, fi the five of them, so I'm, I'm a player again. And you're 24. Congratulations, Scott Dixon. Terrific night for you. Thank you very much. God